Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to install the mod.io networker. So essentially what the mod.io networker is, it's a code mod that allows you to in auto download Fusion mods when playing Fusion. And yes, this does work with Tide Fusion. And actually, in this case, I'm going to be showing you how to install this mod with Tide Fusion. Don't worry if you're a Fusion player, I'll put a tutorial in the description showing how to install this exact same mod, but with Fusion. Now that I've explained what the mod is, now I'm going to ex show the requirements. These are the requirements that you need in order to allow you to install this mod natively on your headset. First, you're going to need Lemon Loader installed. Second, you're going to need the Bola Patch Free Beta, and make sure that it's patched with Lemon Loader. Third, you're going to need Tide Fusion installed. Fourth, you're going to need Bone Lip installed. Finally, fifth, you're going to need a third party mod manager. In this, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using CX File Explorer, where you can use that, or Adobe File Explorer, or any other manager you like. Do not use Mobile VR Station, because that does not work. Now I've set all the requirements, let's move over on how to install the mod. First, you want to go to the Ball Lab Fungus Group page, find the mod IO networker, and click manual download. Once you've done that, you can now go to your file manager. Once you're in your file manager and you see the mod, click and hold, click more, extract, then extract here. After you've done that, two folders should pop up, one called mods and one called pub plugins. Select both, click more, and cl click compress. This will cl compress into a zip file, click and hold, click more, extract, but instead of extract here, click extract to, main storage, android, data, all lab, files, and then extract here. Do not put it in mods or plugins, just press extract here, and everything will go to its designated spot. Once you've done that, you can now start your game. Once you've loaded into your game, you can now exit your game. Once you've exited your game, go to mod.io, log in or create a account, then go to my account, press access, and then you should go to the screen called API access. Go here. For you, it should say accept terms, accept the terms, then accept the terms prompted. Once you're done, this should line up green and say terms accepted. Then scroll down and you should see OAuth access. To make a token, just click on token name, make a token name for this. I'm just going to put in the name damp because that is my mod.io username. Select read and write, make sure that is selected. And then, cre and then create, and then click the plus icon. Once you've created the plus icon, press this clipboard sign, and then that will be saved to your clipboard. Once you've done that, you can go to your Bone Lab files. Once you're in your Bone Lab files, you should see a new folder called mod.io mod networker. Click on that, you should see two, two files called off.txt and a blacklist.txt. Select off.txt. Then you should see this, it says off token equals, replace it with token. Select this select this uh, text and then press paste and now once you paste it in your code click that save little icon and then you can now exit and now you can now start your game now once you've loaded into your game to access the mod click on your menu button go to preferences go to your bone menu find the mod io mod networker and then now go to the settings gear and if you see this trending place that means you've installed the mod correctly if you haven't that means you've did something wrong with you, you that means you did something wrong with your key and you have to go redo that now i suggest going to your settings and selecting auto delete lobby mods setting this to the max it can go setting this to the max it can go and and also, you can select this if you want to. I don't know why I had that selected. I'm not done explaining things just yet. In order to download a mod manually, you click on whatever mod you want, click on it, and then you click subscribe. If you don't, if you don't want the 
a networker to automatically download a mod, you can click on Blacklist. And I recommend doing this with Labworks. Do not install Labworks using the networker. Only install Labworks manually. So, in order to prevent that from, from, from your networker installing Labworks, go to the search bar. Just type in Lab. And you should see Labworks. And then, click on Blacklist. Blacklist means it will prevent your networker from downloading that mod. Now, once you did everything, you should be done, and now you can mess around with mods. Have fun!